bolt in the battery. If I check the voltage, one, two, two, seven. Last time I checked it was one, two, two, seven. And that was at uh, 545. Times now 621. It hasn't even dropped a millivolt. When I started this, it was at 1327 millivolts, and right now we're at uh, 1227. That's like exactly 100 millivolts, it's kind of cool. 48 hours this puppy's been running. Thanks to uh, Solar Hacker, whatever his name is, it'll come to me. I've got it here. Full ringer by ah, wrong page. Laser hacker. Thanks, laserhacker.com. Look for him on uh, YouTube and you can find the jewel ringer. Amazing circuit. And uh, right now we got a battery that's um, down to 0 0.885, 884 volts. I calculated now this has been running and be keeping track of the the voltages and whatnot. This thing has been running for uh, like five and a bit days. It works out right now to 123 hours. The battery, when I first started, was at 1.3279 millivolts, and now it's down to 0.886. Uh, do, 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 do. And so that means the difference is 0.441 millivolts in 123 hours divided by 123 equals 0 0.0036 millivolts per hour to get nice bright lights and you can uh, you can run more than one I haven't tried uh, to see if that drains the battery faster but even at this like six days and it's still cranking bright and battery's juicy this will run down to about 0.5 volts and then the jewel thief will quit I'm not sure about this circuit this new one the jewel ringer but uh, let's build one of these puppies here and you can do your own experiments earlier in this video I showed you these two diagrams this one is correct this one is not it's got an error I got this showing as the center tap the center tap is actually right here and this is just one of the single wires is connecting um, so let's just throw this aside and we're gonna work from this one try and go this so we've got the double-a battery there negative and positive I'm gonna put the positive somewhere in the breadboard and the negative in the negative rail so the brown is the positive the white is the negative that's going all along that blue row on the side in the bottom we need the capacitor over here with the negative connected to the negative of the battery and the positive connected to the positive of the battery. That's crazy. Anyways, so I put the negative and the positive. You can see this got a little white stripe there. It's just, I can tell where the negative of the capacitor is. And that is a um, 10 UF capacitor. Next good starting point here, let's take the negative of the LED, put that in the negative of the rail, and the positive is going to come in wherever. right here bottom I'm holding the emitter the middle is the base and the other one is the collector so if I put the negative the collector needs to be connected to the positive with the LED so I'll squeeze that in there she'll be nice to me there we go make sure that's not touching the case 
So the positive is coming into the collector now. The negative of the LED and the negative of the battery and the negative of the capacitor are all connected to the emitter. From the base, we need to connect a 100 ohm and 500 ohm variable resistor and also in parallel a um, 0.001 UF cap. Here's the 001 UF cap. It's got a code 102. Find some old electronics and just rip that off the board. So that goes from the base to the other side of the coil. So I'm going to put that here. And then here's our 100 ohm resistor, which is brown, black, black, black. And that goes. that's going to get the coil so we take our it's a 500 ohm variable resistor took the two terminals on the left and soldered leads onto there so between the green wire and the white wire you can control 500 ohms of variable resistance and I'll hook that there and into the other side of the capacitor that's free which will be the base come on baby get in there let's go so now we just need basically to bring in the coil. Now the center tap goes to the positive of the battery. We have two free leads. You can see the green and the white there. One is going to go to the capacitor and resistor over here, and the other one is going to the collector or the positive of the LED. So, this is the opposite side of the base, it should be like there, there, there. A little trickier to do with one hand. That should be light, but there is no light. Helps if I get it connected properly. Now, there's no way that that's proper. Aha, this green one has to scoot over one. There we go. So now, using the pot, I can adjust that to be like bright or dim. What I did here to make this circuit a little duller is break into the resistor part here, drop another 1K resistor in there. And now you can see a lot dimmer. Okay, so that's a jewel ringer. Hope you can get this circuit together and start experimenting with this really fantastic circuit. From uh, initial studies, looks like on one AA battery, you could uh, run, uh, well, at least a single LED for maybe up to 15 days. Um, get a D-cell, then you got a lot more amp hours, and um, yeah, wow. If this thing is only drawing, you know, geez. It's drawing so little that you'd be able to, even on a cloudy day, using the sun, be able to recharge the battery. And it's like free lights, man. This is awesome. Okay.